The family of Hassan Johnson is relieved Mobile Police made an arrest in his murder case. We first told you last night, Derek Davis was picked up in Chicago on an unrelated harassment complaint. That's when authorities discovered he had a warrant for murder in Johnson's death. Local 15's Jasmine Williams talked exclusively with the victim's family. Jasmine, they are relieved, but they're also worried. Yeah, that's right, Kim. And this interview comes in response to the story we did last night with the suspect's mother. Johnson's family members say her story about self-defense doesn't add up, and they fear his death is a form of street justice and wonder if it will ever end. They say there's two sides to every story. Well, this tale began on Webb Avenue and ended with two people dead and one in jail. Some say it started back in December when Juanita Davis' son, LeBarian Davis, was killed. Shortly after, Hassan Johnson was shot and killed. Authorities say this man, Davis' other son, Derek, pulled the trigger. Their mother calls it self-defense. If my son had anything to do with Hassan, it would have been in self-defense. Number one, Hassan does not visit anyone on our street. But according to arrest records, he did. Johnson's last address was Webb Avenue, right across the street from the Davis family home. His girlfriend says the shooting wasn't self-defense, but street justice. She thinks the Davis family blames Johnson for the shooting back in December. She was behind the wheel the day her boyfriend was shot and killed. I saw just like, I'm hit. He was like, he shot me. So I was like, you okay? You okay? Or whatever. So he was, he was like, oh, just get me to the hospital. I'd be scared they're going to come for me. No one seems to be able to explain the pre-existing bad blood between the families. With two dead and one arrested, they can only hope the feud will be ending soon. Now, last we checked, Derek Davis was being extradited back here to Mobile, where he faces murder charges. Kim. Jasmine, thank you.